most companies go through different rounds of funding in their startup journey. Depending upon the industry that they operate in, the amount of money there is varies. Let's talk through the different stages of funding uh, in a company's life cycle. So in the venture capital world, companies often go through a pre-seed, seed, series A, series B, and beyond rounds of funding. The amounts that a company raises in each of these rounds is going to vary based on the industry that they operate in, based on their location, where they are. So for example, in the Midwest, a seed round or pre-seed round may be a half a million dollar round. On the coasts, that amount may be a little larger. Similarly, a seed round in the Midwest may be a million and a half to two million dollars, sometimes larger. A series A round, maybe five to seven million dollars. A series B round, maybe north of 10 million dollars. Ultimately, the round size is dictated predominantly by what key inflection points you are trying to achieve with that capital to de-risk the investment for the next round investor. In most cases, companies are raising capital in 18 to 24 month increments before they reach a true inflection point. For example, in the case of software, companies are trying to get to 10 million plus in revenue or multiple funding rounds. In the case of a medical device, companies are raising multiple funding rounds to get to FDA approval. The reason you raise money in multiple funding rounds is you're trying to de-risk the investment round over round and create value. It is hard for the early stage startups to fund their operations and fund their growth purely from revenue. That's why they need to raise capital. Ultimately, if you want to build a high growth, fast paced business, that's your best opportunity, which is to raise growth capital over multiple rounds and grow your business. You as a founder CEO need to decide if that's the right path for you. Or would you rather build your business slowly, incrementally through revenue versus raising venture capital? There are no right or wrong answers here. It ultimately boils down to how you want to fund your business and how quickly you want to scale your business. If you believe that you need to raise capital, then you want to give yourself a sufficient window. So for example, if you are raising a seed round, you want to give yourselves 18 to 24 months runway so that you can execute, create value, reach a meaningful inflection point and go out to the market and raise more money in the future. To sum up, I would encourage you to evaluate where you are in your startup journey, figure out what are the key inflection points you need to achieve depending on the stage of your business and raise appropriate amount of capital to give yourselves 18, 24 months runway. If you found value in this video, don't forget to like and share with fellow tech entrepreneurs. And do share your suggestions and topics you would like us to cover. Don't forget to follow Jumpstart Ventures on LinkedIn and X. Thank you.